Hey guys, Austin Arrow. Welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. Now today, guys, this is a Monday, and I'm finally back to um, recording on the normal daily schedule, I guess you could say. You're probably wondering, what does that even mean? Well, for those of you who don't know, I'm currently in college, but because of winter break or whatever and Christmas, etc., um, I'm off for like a month, so... I can actually finally record videos again on the days they're supposed to be uploaded instead of pre-recording on the weekends. So, yeah, so expect more, like, I guess you could say, on, I don't even know how to say it, like, more accurate daily content in terms of, like, because when I would pre-record in the past, I couldn't actually, like, really say, like, oh, yeah, this is what's going on today, but I can finally do that. So, guys, today, on this amazing Monday, how you guys doing? Because I'm doing exceptional so guys the mod reviewing today is the enchanting plus mod this mod is amazing it basically can replace the normal enchanting system in minecraft it's honestly something that vanilla minecraft could have but it's kind of overpowered and you'll get what i mean by that when we get into it but guys if you're excited for this video Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because we are only, last time I checked, about 22 subscribers away from 500. So guys, if you're watching this video right now and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? We do amazing mod content on this channel every single day, not counting the weekends yet. But my point is, it's just amazing, very entertaining, and um, if you want any proof, just check the comments section, because those who leave comments are normally very satisfied. But anyway, guys, let's get this started. So, in this chest right here, we have very complicated things, but don't worry, we'll simplify it. So, in our first thing here, we have a ton of bookshelves. We have the birch, spruce, dark oak, jungle, and acacia bookshelves. Now, in vanilla Minecraft, as you know, we only have the normal bookshelf. That's this beautiful creature over here. So, this compared to them, well, as you can see... We're actually standing on a platform on bookshelves, so I guess you can compare it like that. But yeah, that's normal oak wood. And that's just like an aesthetic appeal thing they added in. They all do the exact same function. It's kind of just preference. If you want to craft any of these, you can. The crafting recipes, well, the normal bookshelves crafted like this, it can be used with any. But these you have to specifically use birch, spruce, dark oak, jungle, and acacia to make that. Now that may conflict with a normal bookshelf since you can use anything to make the normal bookshelf, so I would just recommend using oak wood on the normal bookshelf if you have this mod installed. Um, next up, the main thing you're going to want to make for this mod is the upgrade table or table upgrade. So the normal enchantment table is crafted like this if any of you have forgotten or did not know. The table upgrade is crafted with a book and quail, four gold ingots, one eye of ender, and two obsidian. So once you craft this, you will be able to take it walk over to your enchantment table, right click it, or shift right click, I guess if you're in creative mode, or no, you would have to shift right click, and it has upgraded it to the enchanting plus table. And if you, or the advanced enchantment table, if you want to um, craft this thing normally, you can. All you do is just put the enchantment table or the upgrade in the crafting terminal with it. You honestly don't need to do that like I just showed, and you can do it like manually, but it's kind of just, again, preference, whatever you'd like to do. Now, this is um, pretty interesting because with this advanced enchantment table, you can do, honestly, everything an anvil could do with enchantment books, etc. And I don't even know why you would need to do that because it has its own, like, you'll see in a minute. So, another thing that I saw in the mod was a ton of these, there's these books. Like, there's enchantment plus book, enchanting book, prismarine book, nether book, tar tartium book pale book and metal book i tried using these things and i could not get them to function properly and then there's like these enchanting scrolls that have all the different like, enchantments on them and i mean i've realized if you if you hold right click on them they give you like a particle effect but i'm not entirely sure like if it's supposed to be enchanting something i might be doing something wrong there but um those are just some things you guys can check out in creative mode and see if you can get them to work their functions because i could not um, but the main feature of the mod is right here. So if I were to go in creative mode and grab up, let's say I wanted to make the most amazing diamond sword I possibly could ever want. So we take the diamond sword, right click the enchantment table, we get this nice interface, and we plop in the diamond sword. So as you can see, it gives you like a few options on the left side, it says player level zero, because I mean creative mode it won't matter, but you need of course player levels. It acts as 
whatever we're about to do, just think of it as if you were just enchanting at level 30 normally. Now, we're in the newer versions of Minecraft, but as you can tell, you don't need Lapis to do these enchants. Also, it says max enchantment level 48, so I believe the maximum you can use up is 48 levels per enchant. So, if we put in the Diamond Sword, as you can see, it's a 7 attack damage. If we go, let's say we want to have Sharpness. This is like a, a scroll bar. You can go from 1 all the way up to its max, which is 5. So, if I drag this thing all the way over here, or you can actually just click as well, it says Sharpness V. And if you look on the left side, it says enchantment cost 23. If I click this little um, icon that shows like an enchantment book, bam. As you can see, our sword now has sharpness 5, 10 attack damage. Which is honestly the quickest way to enchanting. Now, it would have burned our levels, but again, since we're in creative mode, it's not burning any levels. Um, let's say we'd want it to have knockback 2. Enchanted. Done. Um, now since we did that, we actually cannot give it Smite or Bane of Arthropods, like, you actually can't, it's like normal enchanting, you can't have the same, those types of enchants on, but let's say we wanted to have Fire Aspect, Looting, Unbreaking, Mending, done, instantly have the most overpowered sword you can want. Now let's say you don't like the fact that it's knockback, so let's say you want to click it off, just click it off, you'd burn five, it says enchanting class negative five. So, I believe what that means is if you take the enchantment level off, you will actually gain experience levels. Now, again, I'm in creative mode, so it's not going to show it. But, um, yeah, I believe you can actually burn experience, like, you can get experience back from deleting the enchant. So, you don't want that fire aspect, done, taken off the fire aspect. Let's say you want knock back back on, applied again. You kind of just can go back and forth with the levels. Now, you're probably, what's this other thing that's like an anvil? Well, I'll show you. So, let me just go into... Well, first, let me grab a spawn egg. So let's get some. Let's just get a zombie. And we'll go into survival mode. So if I spawn this zombie, we'll kill him off really quickly. We're in the desert, so we're not going to have to worry about anything. And I realized, did the speed go up? No, it didn't. It's just a diamond sword. It's quicker. Alright, so. Did we not get any levels other over here? Let me just grab these up really quickly. And of course, that wasn't even a full level. Um. Oh, crap. I gave it unbreaking. Of course, the one time I want it to not have unbreaking, we have this issue. So let me go back into survival mode, spawn another zombie. And we actually got a husk this time. What the heck? I didn't think they could spawn from normal spawn eggs. All right, we got one level, and the my sword is just not breaking, which is pretty funny if you ask me. Um, There we go. All right, so now the sword has durability damage that it repaired because it has mending. <sighs> Take mending off. Oh, well, there you go. There's your exam. We got our levels back. Why don't I just think to do that from the start? You know what? We're also taking on breaking off as well. So let's spawn in one last zombie. And I think it's funny if I spawn him on the bookshelves, he doesn't turn into um, a husk or whatever. So we have damaged the sword. We go over to the um, enchanting table, plop it in here. If I click this, it says repair cost 2 XP. I click that, sword instantly repaired. No diamonds, no anvils dying or breaking, no anything. This thing is now your anvil. It can actually do the job of an anvil in this. And you wouldn't even need to worry about enchanting books anymore because... Let me just grab one just to show you. So if I grab like a power three book. So if I plop this in here, it's not actually going to work. Okay, I was thinking if it would let me take the enchants off or something. But yeah, so you don't even really need um, any kind of anvil anymore you only really need what if you're the type of hardcore person that doesn't like you that isn't like me that doesn't like using like multiple sets of armor to make it more challenging and fun and you actually get to use everything if you like just having one full suit of diamond that's you never that you keep in your inner chest you never like it to break it's overpowered it's all got it's like got protection for everything guys you don't have to worry about it breaking anymore you can have thorns on it you can have whatever you want on it because all and to be honest with mending now it kind of doesn't even matter but um if anything's about to break you just shove it in here click repair now the repair cost may vary f i believe the highest i've ever seen a cost is like 60 experience to repair but if you put it in here um it's gonna repair it all the way full and you're gonna be fine like it could be at one durability you put it in here instantly repaired like i i can't even Think of a more simple, like a more easier way to um, enchant now in Minecraft than this. Now again, this is a very overpowered like mod. Even though it's small, it's very overpowered. It works with all modded tools as well. I forgot to mention. So like 
anything that's like, let's say you have like a staff or something from a certain mod, you shove it in here, it would work. A few things it will not accept, but it's on very rare occasion that'll happen, mostly as long as the item is considered like a sword, a bow, a piece of armor, it'll work in this thing. Um, if any of you have been watching my ore spawn series, all the uh, items in that mod work on here. And, yeah, this could be another suggestion, I guess, for that series for me to add this mod in. But anyway, that's another thing to talk about. Getting off topic here. So, yeah, this mod is like the ultimate in enchanting. It's kind of a more simpler way. Also, like, let's say you're new to Minecraft and you don't get the whole lapis enchanting levels 1, 2, 3 type thing. Um, if you have this mod installed, you don't even need to worry about that. You can just kind of pick and choose what you want. I know all in Minecraft now you can kind of pick which enchantments you want, but this one's kind of like, I want power 3, unbreaking 2, and flame 1. You're going to get it. <laughs> you just have to have the levels to burn on it. That's it. As long as you have levels, you can get anything you want enchanting-wise. Now, I don't believe you can. Just put a normal book in. I'm going to try that really quickly. Oh, you can. Alright, so let's say you want a Power 5, Bane of Arthropods 5, Mending 5 book. Done. I can't believe I just did that. That. Yeah, my point. So, so let's say you want to like install this mod on a server with your friends and you kind of want to surprise them without them knowing. And just kind of like enchant a book like that and give it to them. They'll be like, whoa, where'd you find this? Oh, I, I made it. Simple. Casual. But anyways, guys, I guess that is going to end off this um, episode today. If you guys enjoyed, which I hope you did, please hit that like button, share, support. Remember, we're only 22 subscribers away to 500, so please subscribe if you are new and you enjoy Minecraft mod content because we always do it. And again, guys, the download for this mod, if you did not know, will be linked in the description so you can download this and enjoy it for yourself. Again, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.